Hello everyone, Paulie the House Nerd here from the Wodonga CRT Support Network. What we're going to do today is use Windows Live Movie Maker to turn a piece of video into a complete film. First thing we want to do is click where it says click here to browse for video and photos. Browse through your computer and locate your piece of video. There we are, piece of video to work with. You can click play, we'll just let it play through and preview what it's doing. Grab the slider to move through your video. You can also grab this one. Simply by clicking on the slider, it'll move it. Clicking on one of these will move it to the start of the section. Now today what we're going to be doing is playing with auto movie themes, that's these up here. By going through them you can see it chooses kind of title and credits for you. We're just going to grab this one and no we're not going to add any music. As you can see all this stuff's appeared, what it's done is it's added titles transitions between the pieces of film and credits on the end. At the moment they're just all filled in with data that tells you where to put all the names. For what we're doing today we don't need all these credits on the end so just right click select remove just down to one. Now we double click on the text at the bottom there, you can flip through and have a look. Move it to somewhere where you can see what you're writing. And it's just like using your word processor. Now all the ones we deleted, they work exactly the same, and so do your titles. They've just got the placeholder text there, you just need to go through, edit it until it says what you want. You can change the size, shift it around to put it where you like it. Click outside to stop it, and there you go. I'm not doing it today, but normally you want to save everything at every step of the way, just to make sure you don't lose anything. But now, we're just going to produce a movie. Just select the format that you'd like, browse your way through to where you want to put it, We're going to create ourselves a new folder. In we go. This is the part where having a decent computer helps. If you're using a low-end laptop or an older computer, this could take a fair while. Of course, I've got a reasonable computer, so it's not taking very long at all. Do we want to play it? Yes. here it is. Believe it or not, it really is as easy as that. 
I hope you found this helpful. We'll be back with another video soon on how to do a slideshow.